Hello my friends, hopefully you are doing great. Uh, so in this tutorial, we are going to create a simple text a track list. Uh, so basically today will be no coding. Uh, and by the way, I'm at home, so please understand for the noise is around from the family member. I think it's okay and you can still hear my voice um, clear enough, right? So in because we are going to create some real test script and then we are going to create some text report in the testing and then we will do something like how to create a test source, how to run in parallel on grid and on tracking, something like that. But before doing that, we need to create some real test script. It's not something like the docking anymore. For example, now I created a simple uh, tracklist test case here. Uh, so we are going to test for something on the home page here. We call it the test case home page 001 and we make sure the app purpose here display correctly. And then we need to scroll up and we need to make sure that the support channels display here. And in the login screen, we have a for a test script. We make sure that the missing uh, email and password display, right? Something like this. Make sure the email and password missing are display. And we make sure missing email is display. For example, 111 and we enter here. So uh, we have something like missing email. In this case, we will input a correct password like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and enter here. So we just see the please enter a valid email address here, right? So the first step that we make sure the missing password display. That means we are going to supply uh, an email, something like toe.gmail.com. It's not a real email address, I think. And we just left the password field here empty and we click login. Make sure we can see something like please enter at least a correct store here in the password field. And the last and the last test case for this uh, login form, login screen should be we can log in successfully if we input a valid format email and a certified password like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, enter. And we should see something like that, right? So we are going to go to the check for the form here. So for the form, we need to make sure that what user input here, like A, B, C, it should display here. And we check, we can switch on and off and we check this value, right? And let's see, on up test display. It seems we, I, I got a duplicated test case here uh, on up display, just one enough. And user can, you know, select a drop down here and we can choose something like web driver IO or FEM or this app is awesome and we can guess the data. Hmm. Something wrong here. Something wrong because we cannot do uh, here, right here. Okay. It seems we need to switch it and then we choose something. Oh, we don't need to do that here. So we make sure that we can select the value from drop out later here. And finally, we can check the active and in active button work properly. That means the active button that is not clickable here. And for the active button, we can see something like this display, right? And the final step that the user can swipe here on the swipe screen here, user can swipe test and the test is now displayed 
correctly. So that's it, the whole thread list we are going to create in the next lesson. So we are I'm planning that we will create for home page and login and the form. And after we created the whole test script, we will go for the next lesson. So try to understand uh, try to understand those, those checklist first, right? And then from the next lesson, we are going to create a test script for coding because you need to understand what we are going to do first. And you create the same checklist um, just like me. You know, nowadays in HR team, um, we don't need to wait till we have a manual test case. We can the, aut the automation tester can create a simple test list, uh, and then we can cooperate with PA, PO, and manual QA to get understand about uh, our project, and then we can continue for our automation test. So creating a simple checklist, and then do some work first before you have the full manual test case to convert to automation test script. It should be a good start for you. Okay, so see you in the next lesson and from the next lesson we will try to create a real test script.